Hey Craig here. In this video I'm going to be making the bottom part of the die for the press die system. Okay, I'm going to be using one inch thick hot rolled steel. This is a 12 inches by 6 inches. I'm going to start off with the pocket in the middle that's going to receive the, uh, the press dies. This is the, the die holder. Well, that went pretty smoothly. Uh, it took a little while. Um, I probably could have gone more aggressive on it, but uh, I'm just making a couple of these, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, uh, next thing is to do a finishing pocket, a finishing pass on this. Well, that turned out pretty nice, nice and smooth. Now, you'll notice I didn't put any holes in here for fastening the uh, the dies down, the interchangeable dies down. I'm hoping just jet gravity is going to be enough. Um, putting holes in through the the top of the die uh, presents its own problems with uh, with the die with the forming and stuff. So I'm trying to not have to do it from the bottom either because then I have to take this off just to replace the die so uh, hopefully just setting it in there and gravity will be sufficient. Alright next thing to do is to uh, make the two holes in here I'm gonna pre-drill with uh, 5 sixteenths and then bore down with uh, 3 eighths. Okay well I have to uh, run this as a separate code because I have to uh, change the belt position to low um, I don't really have a whole lot of experience drilling, uh, deep drilling in steel or even aluminum. I actually have more experience in deep drilling in aluminum, but um, not much in steel. So we will uh, see how this goes. Um, maybe going all the way through, so one inch.
Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. There was some uh, bird nesting on there, so I may have to ad adjust the uh, the pecking on it, but uh, or the chip break, I should say. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, bore these holes out to the proper size. Okay, well apparently I have the d wrong dimensions on this hole. For some reason I thought it was a uh, 3 8 but it has to be a uh, 5 8 so I gotta go change the drawing and uh, re-bore these. Okay, well I think that end mill was a little dull. Uh, it was kind of like folding the steel over rather than <clears throat> cutting it into little pieces or something. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to test fit this uh, before I take it off just to make sure it works on here. Make sure this fits. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. Okay, so here's the press die that I made probably over two years ago. Uh, this thing's probably made over 10,000 brackets like this here. So um, this uh, this bottom bracket or this bottom die holder is designed to fit right on here. So if I want to form the sheet metal, I just take that die off and this should just slide right over, right like that. Okay, cool. Uh, well, that's the bottom part done. Um, next I'm going to do the, uh, the top uh, die holder. Uh, the top die holder, I'm going to have two holes drilled through it uh, to attach the the top die. Okay, so now I'm going to make the top die. Uh, the top die is actually a mirror image of the, the bottom die, except for the two additional holes for holding the, the upper die in the uh, die holder. Um, this is the, the upper die holder. Um, so I think I'm just going to fast forward to that. Um, I may actually film some of the uh, the boring of the holes over here with uh, now that I have a, a sharp end mill, and then of course the two holes. So, you know, drilling through a one-inch steel plate is really simple once you get it down. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the boring. Uh, I've got a new end mill in here. The uh, the one that I used before was like super super dull. I'm not sure what I used it for, but. I got both holes bored out that went a lot smoother with a sharp end mill 
Right now I'm going to go ahead and drill the two holes here for holding the, the dies. All right, there it is, all done. Uh, now all I have to do is uh, assemble it together and see what it looks like. Okay, so now it's time to fit this all together. Let me start with the base piece here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lower or the bottom die holder on. All right. Now, I'll put on the springs. Now we'll put on the upper die holder. Alright, actually there's one thing I still need to do. I need to machine in a hole for the, uh, for the press to make sure that the, uh, the press is pushing exactly in the center of this. Alright. That seems to look pretty good. All right, well, once I get that machined in the top there, I'll be able to push down directly in the middle. Yeah. And then all I have to start doing is uh, machining the actual dies. Um, this will be machined to fit in to this pocket right here. Um, so that one will go there. This one will go right here. Now these are going to set down in an eighth of an inch. So I, I think I've sized this in such a way that I've got about an inch of gap between the dies when they lift up. Okay, so what I failed to account for is the actual amount that the spring goes down under this load. It's going down like a a good half an inch under the load of the top plate. So I'm gonna have to account for that in the length of the spring. I um, mean I can get stiffer springs but Okay, well, I wasn't exactly prepared to do this uh, this hole in the, the top for locating the uh, the press, um, but I quickly drew it up in CAD. I located, I set my zeros on this hole right here, um, so I'm going to get ready to run this. Um, Okay, well the measurements all checked out, so this is all set to go. Just need to order some longer springs, and then uh, make the uh, make the first set of interchangeable dies.
or the, the dies for it. So, all right. all right, cool. Well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. If you have any comments or ideas or anything, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button over there and some other videos. I'll link below the, the video for the, uh, the, the press for bending the, uh, the bracket uh, down below here. And uh, thanks for watching.